Okay, so I already applied my moisturizer around my skin. You know, I can't leave without my peach luster by MAC because that corrects my dark areas around my mouth or around my eyes. So I always like correcting that before I put any foundation. If I don't put this before my foundation, um, when I take pictures or anything like that, it tends to have like a gray finish and it looks and it tends to look ashy. This is one of the reasons why I use my peach luster. Okay, so I'm gonna be using drugstore foundation. Okay, so I have a question for you guys. Uh, how you guys go to the drugstore and pick a foundation it was so hard for me I'm not gonna lie I opened some and I was like testing I know you shouldn't but I did I know some of you guys do it too don't lie um, so I ended up with the fit me by Maybelline I have never tried it so let's see how this goes I heard it's one of the good ones oh wow it's very liquidy okay. I'm gonna be using my beauty blender it's already wet I'm nervous let's see It's very, this is my first time using any drugstore foundation. I used to use it before. Well, I look really orange. Oh my gosh. I don't know how I feel about this. Whoa, I look very orange. Let's see if we can fix this. It gives you good coverage though. I like the coverage. Okay, so now I'm gonna conceal. I'm gonna be using my Pro Concealer Palette by MAC. Um, I'm gonna be taking this one right here. I believe this is NW40, and what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna conceal. Now I'm gonna highlight. I'm gonna be taking this to NC40 and NC42. I'm highlighted. I guess the foundation didn't matter being too dark because when I mix everything together, it's just gonna blend. So far, I like the foundation. It gives me a medium coverage. Um, and it's more like a dewy finish instead of a matte. But I like it so far. I like it. Now we're gonna set the highlighter. A lot of people use, like using the banana powder or anything. I like using different kind of powders. Today, I'm gonna be using one of the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, highlight. I'm gonna be using the color Golden Peach. I look crazy. Oh my god. I'm gonna be using one of my setting powders by MAC NC45 in sheer loose. And I'm just gonna apply it and kind of just blend everything. So now we are set with the powder. Now I'm gonna warm up my skin. I'm using deep dark mineralized skin finish by MAC. And I'm just gonna put this around my face just to warm me up. I always start with my um Kind of like a natural contour with my bronzer. I always do that before I apply my contour color. Now we're gonna go with the Anastasia contour powders. I'm gonna be using Camel and Havana. And I always just start from the back and I blend myself up just to give me the line right there. And remember, you never wanna pass your contour where your eyebrow finish. So that's why I use my bronzer to warm me up and then the contour, I just leave it right here. So it gives more of a depth. If you like bringing a mirror up here, that's a different kind of contour if you wanna bring your cheekbones up. I already have my cheekbones, so that's why I just put it here. It makes me look skinnier. Every time I do this, people ask me, are you losing weight? I'm like, girl, that's contour. <laughs> and I just go with my beauty blender, whatever is left from when I highlighted, I just go on the bottom to just give me like the line. You see that contour? I haven't I'm gonna be doing a liner. I know you guys have been asking me to do a liner video for the longest time. Um, I'm gonna be using my Wet n Wild, my Wet n Wild Mega Liner. This thing is $1.99 and it's the bomb.com and it's waterproof. What am I doing first when I apply my liner? I feel my lid first. Like this. Then kind of create a form first. Then the other side and kind of connect it. Like that. I draw an imaginary line on the outer corner of the eye. And then I connect. Mm -hmm. 
and I kind of go outside of the line and I just connect it, everything. So when you close the eye, it's the perfect liner. And there's the liner. Using my Deep Dark Brunette Fluid Line Gel by MAC. Just start draining those babies. Now we're gonna clean up those eyebrows with the same concealer. I'm gonna be mixing NW40 with a little bit of NC40. Don't forget to blend your concealer, please. I seen that. I see that a lot. People just kind of put the concealer there and just keep it moving. Like, just blend it, please. I don't want to attack you with a brush and uh, just blend it, blend it, blend it. I'm gonna apply a little bit of blush. These blushes I got from my friend. I don't know who they are by, but it's called Samba One. I'm just gonna put this in the upper of my cheek right here. Then my highlighter, tantalizer, Lorac tantalizer. Just on the apples of the cheeks, right here in the inner. Mm. Why do I get so excited with highlight? This is the weirdest thing. I just love it. Now we're gonna put on some lips. I wanted to do a red, but not like a bam red like Ruby Will. So I'm gonna be using Beat Liner by MAC. This is more like a reddish, pinkish red. Something like that, whatever. Wait, I forgot to put my lip primer. Oh my gosh, I'm just gonna go on top of it. Lip primer is very important because it's gonna be easier to glide on the lipstick or the lip liner if it's in matte form. So I always start from the big, from the inner of the lips. I'm gonna mix it with this lip tart called a stalker. A stalker, a stalker, stalker. I don't think that I ever gonna be able to make a video without mispronouncing a word. Like it's just, like it's just natural, you know. I don't know. So, so I feel stupid though. Sometimes I feel like I should know. You Anyways, know? lip tar um, by OCC Cosmetics, and these ones are very. You want to be careful when you put some on your lips. Little dot, like this little, and then just go in that inner. Okay, airplane. Everybody want to do something today. There's so much loudness going on right now. You guys are going to hear all that. Now we're going to apply lashes. One of my favorite lashes is the cheapy, cheapy ones. And I get this ones in downtown LA um, for $1. So I'm just going to stack them up together. So the lashes are on. And we're going to put a little mascara. And what I love about using these cheap um, lashes is that I could put mascara on them. And to make them look more fuller. More clumpy because I love clumpy lashes. I feel like something's missing. Let's put a little bit of black eyeliner on my inner rim of my eye. There you go. That's what was missing. I'm using my Inglot liner. I like using better gel liner on the inner of the eye because it's, it'll last longer than a regular eyeliner. I feel like all eyeliner smudges and come off, so this one tends to stay a little longer. So this is the finished look. Um, thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and thumbs up this video if you like. And please comment below what is your favorite drugstore foundation because I'm always in the lookout for a good one. And now that I tried this one on, I think I like it. Ooh, I think I like it. Ooh, I think I like it. No, I think I like it. Let's see how it wears out during the day. But I... Really? 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 So I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Ciao.